Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So today is update day. I'll cover the patch notes, but also some upcoming things that the devs are working on, and also some bugs that may not have been fixed that are pretty problematic. So what we have here is the dev blog with the patch notes, and everything is displayed right there. Yes, not much. Ultimately, just a fix in Mount Hote now with some cutscenes, and then the Lair of the Mad Dragon. So Balrath the Vile, his flame pillar ability will now better match its visuals, take a half second longer before it deals damage, and additionally will no longer target or affect companions. This is a huge change for the second boss, meaning you will have a lot easier time by not having to always stay close to him. You used to just the strategy was to stay within 15 feet of the boss and you would never get those fire bombs. We just got hit by one. They would have like a bigger range than they actually show of the red and, and they would trigger like near instantly that you wouldn't even have enough time to dodge in most cases unless you were like super hyper aware of getting a red bomb and had your literal finger on the trigger to press dodge. Other than that, it was so easy to just not be able to dodge it, especially if any lag was involved and you would just either get one shot by it or you would take this heavy damage over time. Now, the damage over time could be cleansed. So if you had a healer who was quick in action to cleanse you like a cleric or a bard or a warlock, you could easily, yeah, cleanse the dot and not take that heavy damage over time. The damage over time would guaranteed kill you if it wasn't cleansed. No healer could out heal that unless maybe they had daily powers and a ton of divinity. But you can see those bombs going off and that's just as soon as you're like further than 15 feet from the boss, you trigger those. Those are thankfully now going to be a ton times easier to avoid and so you're not going to be pressured as much to stay near the boss all the time and you can run with ranged companions because those ranged companions will no longer trigger the bombs a pretty huge improvement there to the second boss now for the first boss misrael ever dark her brimstone hail power should now always display its visual effect after the telegraph these are the red areas with the runes. You see the red areas and then you get this fire burst going up. Sometimes you'd see the red area and then they just disappear and you would never see the rune and people would sometimes move back on top of them and just get hit because there was no rune displayed. This should now more consistently always be displayed so it's less likely you're going to get like baited where you might think it's a false area but then yeah not hit you just you see it there happened and people got hit by it say the tank by moving in onto where it was but not realizing it was still getting triggered and yes this was some serious lag right there i'm not sure it's going on but again those red areas you see them pop up and they just disappeared so that's fixed and that is the entirety of the patch notes not much. There is something pretty game breaking with the first boss that people have been running into. I haven't personally got it where the mobs can spawn on the chandelier. This supposedly comes as a result of the previous week's fix, which stopped them from spawning on the ceiling. So maybe removing that ability of them going on the ceiling meant they're now forced to spawn in the chandelier. You can see that here with a clip from Dead Mano. He streams on Twitch, but clearly there's a mob stuck in the chandelier and a bunch of hounds. But it gets even worse when it's actually an imp stuck up there. Like this healing imp is just going to keep all the mobs nearby healed and do this like white noise effect. And a lot of people were getting this. So definitely a problematic issue that I hope is fixed with this update, but they didn't put it in the patch notes. Ultimately, we will see and be sure to report it if it's still broken. Moving on from that, we actually have some dev news and confirmation. Finally, after years and years and years, with the Jagged Dancing Blade. This companion 
is supposed to be able to reduce the target's defense. On Mythic, it's a 10% chance to reduce the target's defense by 7.5% for 10 seconds on an encounter use. This was the dev's response. Ultimately, they say all of the other defense reduction bonuses that actually do work, as I listed here, are not working properly. They're behaving like they're reducing defense, and they are in then that way doing so by mirroring the formula, but the Jagged Dancing Blade is actually trying to reduce the real defense, and it's somehow not being able to do so. And so they've decided, rather than changing that and making it like the other multiplicative defense reduction debuffs, they'll just be potentially changing it to increase the target's damage taken. As we can see here, the proposal is to like 10% on encounter use to increase the target's damage taken, 2.5% for 10 seconds. That's at Mythic. And to be honest, this is my feedback on it. It does not really warrant to still have a 10% trigger chance if it's going to be that low of an effect. Mainly there's going to be healers and tanks that would use this. They don't really have a lot of encounter powers to spam, so having something to trigger on a chance is not really viable. And if it's that small of a gain, it's not really worth it. But if they remove the 10% chance, then yes, a healer or tank can time their encounter powers and give that buff with it causing the target to take increased damage and that would be nice and reliable and that would be okay it would just be something to min max but it ultimately shows they actually looked at it and are considering finally fixing it to actually work to increase the damage the target takes before it just done nothing you gain no damage it, the formula for it didn't work but for some reason it worked just fine for these ones but they claim it's actually a bug that those work not really intended so they're disinclined to follow that same route with the jagged dancing blade particularly because yeah it's pretty powerful having these giving all those effects which adds up to quite a lot so other than that, there's some more notable bugs I'd like to just quickly mention that most likely haven't been fixed with this update as well. You're not able to get the guild records for when people leave. Can be a bit annoying for guild management. The Zoraxian weapons and also the Void Touch weapons won't show the overall outgoing healing on your stat page. I actually don't know. They could be a bug that they don't work at all or they could be working multiplicative and not actually show then because they're a separate stat again something i might need to test there's a bug with the ranger which can cause you not be able to move unless you dodge you need to log in and out i believe it as a result of say forest ghost as gus pointed out there's a tooltip error with the obsidian shirt and pants they claim to be in the campaign store but they're not there's still a pretty bad bug with boons i probably want to cover in a video because there is a workaround you just got to be aware of it otherwise you can end up costing yourself yeah a ton of boon points for nothing and otherwise there's a bug with say barbarian illusions on their weapons that don't scale up properly depending on the size of your character when you enter rage so with that i believe that covers everything i wanted to go over thank you for watching a massive thank you to all these channel members and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now